What's up ladies and gentlemen this is your friend Galactus here with the platinum review for Hogwarts Legacy Before we begin as always we will be talking about the platinum trophy of the game and you might see some end game gameplay over here so consider this your spoiler warning For this review I am going to try to keep it short and sweet I have heard your feedback that some of my platinum reviews do tend to go on longer than they should be but I hope you guys also understand at the same time that we are talking about the game as well as the platinum trophy so there is a very high probability that I am going to keep going and rambling on but with that said let's get on with the review we will be breaking down this review into three parts the first part being the story and presentation the second part being the gameplay and the final part being the platinum trophy itself with that said let's get started with the story and presentation of this game i do not want to talk too much about the story of the game to keep away from spoilers but also you should know that this is a sort of a story which you cannot probably spoil because this is a sort of a uh, build your own story type of game where your actions and your decisions change the story to an extent and also most of the major plot twist or something here you can see them coming like they are very well telegraphed so i'm not saying it's a bad thing or anything the story is good the story that is there is good it's decent it's it does its job like the story simply does its job and it does its job perfectly it does not have to do anything more because we already have such an amazing setting that is of the world of hogwarts and everything around it there's the hogsmeade village there are the whole grounds you can go and explore the forbidden forest and everything so with such great setting the story does not need to be the highlight or the cornerstone of this uh, game and it does not it does not get in the way is what i'm trying to say the story just gives it keeps you invested enough to let you know what your next objective is going to be and that's it the main part is the presentation which is really amazing like the world the proper world that they have built up that uh, potki games has achieved for this particular game is commendable and they should be applauded for it there are so many things positive about the type of world they have built it looks real it feels authentic it really feels that you are living in hogwarts that you are roaming around the grounds of hogwarts that you are actually visiting hogsmeade the npc interactions and everything going on around it does feel like you are living in a living breathing visiting world as we have seen and come to love from uh, the harry potter books and the movies you may be a fan you may not be a fan but you cannot in any way shape or form deny that this is a beautifully well crafted world you can see people you know just apparating out uh, apparating here and there when you're moving around you can see npcs just going on with their daily life just doing their daily chores using magic you can see someone uh, you will go to a small village or a chanty town and you will see people just waving their wand wands and having a broomstick fly over and cleaning their uh, the shop sign or have me waving their wand at their utensils and having them cleaned up or doing their laundry with that and that really sets like the tone like you actually feel that okay you are living in a world where this ma- this much magic everything that is going on is possible there are some and uh, dark elements as well in this game as you know because you have to fight some people and they are also i believe presented in a good and decent manner like the way they do the way they carry on like there is a whole poaching ring going on there are animal fighting like mystical beasts and all that fighting going on which is illegal and you have to break into it and you know expose them or shut it down so all these things which are done here which are presented here are really amazing like the presentation and everything for this game i must say is top notch and like it's amazing like i don't apart from a little a few minor nitpicks here and there because i am a die hard harry potter fan i don't think i can really uh, take any points away from the presentation of this gameplay and also in hogwarts they added peeves guys they added peeves that is such a great highlight for me because peeves is one of my favorite characters from harry potter and he was totally missing from the movies which was a big let down but it's not here peeves is here in this game and he is as mischievous as you can imagine and that brings us to the final point on the presentation and story point and that is hogwarts 
I'll keep it short, but all I'll say is Hogwarts is the actual star of this game. It's not you, it's not the story, it's not the gameplay, it's anything. It's Hogwarts. And Hogwarts feels like Hogwarts should feel. There are different houses. You can pick your own house. Every house has its own different common room. They even have their own different quest lines and all that. And it feels like you are actually living and breathing in Hogwarts. Really, you're interacting with people, you're talking. I must say the dialogues and the characters are also really good. Some of them are very well executed. Also, although there are so many characters that you have to interact with, you will not fall in love with all of them. But what they have shown and the way they have shown these characters, the way they have depicted them with their own nuances and you know their own eccentricities, I think it is really amazing. But yeah, mainly Hogwarts is awesome. There are a lot of secret rooms. You have your own room of requirement. You can uh, design it or put furniture up, arrange it your way. You can do things your way. So everything is there, everything you would want to be there in Hogwarts you don't get to visit the Chamber of Secrets or something that is from the Harry Potter movie franchise part but you do get to visit a lot of other places in Hogwarts some of them are even surprising were even surprising to me as well so that is amazing that you get to visit all these places now let's talk about the gameplay of this game after what Portkey games have achieved with the presentation and the amazing world building of this game I really believe that they had to nail down the gameplay because that is the only thing that could actually potentially hold this game back in any way, shape or form. And I would like to say that they have achieved that as well. The gameplay of this game is really good. It's like so close to perfect, I cannot say. Right off the bat, first thing I should let you know if this is if, because this is a Hogwarts game and if you are coming here expecting there to be Quidditch, Quidditch is not there. They had a very lame excuse for Quidditch not being there, but Quidditch is not here this year. And uh, since you, if I have not already told you, you start as a five, fifth year in this game because of story reasons. So you are a decently leveled up wizard and you can actually, you know, use high level spells for your combat and other, uh, other stuff. The combat is really good. It's deep. If you want to get into it, you can get into it. There are a lot of spells and combinations and different spell combinations that you can try. You There are also dark spells. You can actually cast Avada Kedavra in this game. You can cast Confringo as well. So yeah, those are great spells that there are, they are there. Otherwise, there are the simple spells which are used for basically the puzzles and the uh, exploration part which are like uh, Alohamora or Wingardium Leviosa or something like that. So there are different spells for different... Um, things that you have to do in the game there are no there is no quidditch but there are mounts in these games there are brooms that you can buy you can fly around the whole map and there are other mounts as well like hippogriffs like hippogriffs and other uh, uh, fantastic beast which i will not be getting into right now but yes there are mounts in the games they also have stealth in this game which is not too deep or nothing to write home about but it's decent it does its job there are stealth finisher finishers as well you level up your stealth as well so as you go through the game you level up your character and it feels good you start to feel like an actually very very powerful dark or a positive wizard whatever you want to feel like but yes you do start to feel like a really powerful wizard who can like go into a battlefield full of wizards and monsters and spiders and other creatures or goblins and elves and what what not and just clear out the battlefield on your own like the power fantasy of being a highly powerful wizard is uh, fulfilled in this game they do let you do that and that is actually really really fun Apart from the combat and stealth, there is general exploration. There are a lot of puzzles here to solve, but none of them are like stunning or like something that will stun you or that will stop you in your tracks and make you go thinking, make you go scratch your head or something. They are pretty easy enough. I would say if you are having trouble with the puzzle, it's because you have probably not unlocked the particular spell to do it right now and you will get it uh, down in the game. So don't worry about anything. Apart from all this, there is actually a lot of talking in this game because this is actually being treated as a proper RPG. There are not, it does not do the Final Fantasy thing where they make you talk and repeat the same thing again and again and talk to someone and they repeat the same thing. Like every interaction you have, you do get some new information. You get some new lore or world building done from that. But still, there are a lot of dialogues. Thankfully, you can skip through all of them. But some of them are actually really good and you should uh, go sit through them and experience them, I would say. 
Now let's talk about the platinum of the game. The trophies of this game are really easy. Difficulty wise, there is nothing to worry about. You can do everything on easy, but even on normal or hard, it's not something you should be worried about because your wizard does get to be really, really overpowered by the end. Uh, the main problem is that it is time consuming. There are a lot of collectibles in this game, like a lot, a lot, a lot of collectibles, and you have to technically find all of them to get the platinum trophy. So even if you are really good at it, it's going to and even if you look through a guide and get uh, all the collectibles noted down it's going to take you no less than 50 to 60 hours to finish this game so yeah the platinum is annoying uh, in that aspect because there are a lot of collectibles and most of it is doing the same thing again and again and this while doing the platinum this is where this repetition can get kicked in and you can start feeling a little bored or a little annoyed with this fact that okay this is again i'm doing this thing then i go here then i do this thing there are some merlin puzzles which are good but there are like four or five types of puzzles and the total amount of merlin puzzles you have to do is in the 60s or 70s i believe i'm not sure but it's just that it is five or six puzzles repeated again and again and yeah this that gets annoying there are other collectible stuff that gets annoying so the platinum can get a bit annoying but it's still very easy and since the game is so good and the world is so good i am not saying it's a major hurdle but yeah it's a little bit of a hurdle to get that platinum trophy one pro tip I can give you for unlocking the platinum trophy is once you unlock all the different biomes in your room of requirements, make sure to go to each of them because and check them thoroughly because there are collectibles there as well. And yes, you do need to find those collectibles to get the platinum because otherwise your collectible counter will be stuck and you will be stuck wondering, okay, where am I going? What am I doing wrong? What am I missing? Because everything else it will show as you have everything. But uh, the room of requirements does not show up on the map, I believe. I don't think, I think they might have fixed it now. But yeah, make sure to check that out, please. Another thing I should point out is that with the latest update, they have added access to Felix Felicis for all players. I believe it was locked at Deluxe uh, Edition Buyers till now. With Felix Felicis, it makes the collectible grind a bit easier because your minimap pings and points in the direction you to, you should go to for the collectible that you have not collected right now. So make sure you do get that and that will make your grind a bit easier and maybe help you unlock the platinum a lot quicker than most people have. There is auto pop support as well but that's from PS4 to PS5 so that means for auto popping the platinum you will have to play the inferior version of the game. I personally did not run into any crashes during my playthrough but there are some bugs in the game and those bugs were on the PS5 version so I believe there are more bugs in the PS4 version. So that is also some information you should watch out for. And now let's talk about the score. Hogwarts Legacy is a beautiful and amazing game set in a magical world which let me fulfill my fantasy of being a powerful wizard. For that reason I am giving this game a 9 out of 10. The platinum experience for this game unfortunately is not so awesome, it is no cakewalk or a fun trip, it is actually a long and arduous trek because of the long 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 list of collectibles that you have to collect. For that reason I am giving the platinum score of 7 out of 10. So there is my platinum review for Hogwarts Legacy ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do remember to like, share and subscribe. And also if you guys want to show some extra support, you guys can go over to patreon.com slash collectors9090 and pledge to my channel there. I would really hope that you guys do so because I want to invest more time and more efforts into this channel and you guys supporting me on Patreon will really help me out. I want us to be a big bustling community of gamers who come together to celebrate gaming. Either way, please make sure to share your feedback in the comment section and talk to me or just generally send me a message. Your love and support means a lot to me and I really hope we can reach new heights with this channel. And as always, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, stay safe, stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games. This is your friend Galactus, signing off. Incarcerate. You don't know what you're doing! Don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Check on that hell self of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little traitor herself! I should have known it was... Silencio.